Alright, let's get back to it. Be more uh, sneaky. I'd like you to teach me how to be better at stealth. Certainly. Ooh, beginner level on. Once. Well, I'll think it over. Hey! May the Lord watch over you, Henry. Thanks, person I don't know at all. Back to the mill. On a date. So, uh, how have you been? I can't stop thinking about Scarlet's. I know. It was hell. But life has to go on. Why not clear your head and try to forget about it? At least for now. What do you mean? Do you feel like a walk? That's not a bad idea. I've got lots to do right now. But I'd love to go another time. Will you come Thank and you. see me again? As her ladyship commands. <laughs> you jest. Uh... Alright, it's gotta be before noon. Yes, it's afternoon. God almighty, has something happened to you? Did someone steal your fancy clothes? That uh, look like shit, huh? You've an honest trade. How come you got mixed up in crime? Evil times. The harvest failed. And there was no grain to mill. And a child to feed on top of it all. I had no choice. And meanwhile, the lords in the castle and the monks in the monastery stuffed their craws to bursting. Where's the justice in that? So you took justice into your own hands, is that it? And now you take whatever you need? Pull your head out of your ass, Henry. And take a good look around you. Wars come and go, but nothing really changes. It's the poor that do the dying, and the nobles who reap the rewards. We have to survive somehow. So why are the 99%? Would you happen to have any work for me? Of course I would. And... Surprise, surprise, it's another ring. Like last time. Properly done this time. Proper hard work. And who else to set the task to than you? The ring leader, so to speak. The thing is, one of the rich townsmen left his ring behind the last time he went to the baths for some wenching. <sighs> Too drunk to see it, no doubt. And now he wants it back, and the baths deny all knowledge. Why not turn to the bailiff? Why not? Because he doesn't want anyone to know about his barf house visits. And the girls in the barves are wary of selling the ring in case the bailiff does start looking for it after all. So we'll make life easier for them. What do you say? Consider it done. Provided I get something out of it. Don't worry. You won't be left short. The ring's hidden in the chest in the barf house madam's chambers. Come right back with it once you have it. I'm done with you. Yes, uh, I haven't unlocked his shop yet. Will you yet. teach me how to pickpocket better? Certainly. Yes, I'm gonna get money. 
I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Isn't that quite a lot? Since it's you. That's not enough. Not enough. Agreed. Now listen up. I hear you're able to open locks without a key. Will you teach me how? Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Now, Shit. pay close attention. And the haggle. I don't care about the three coins, I care about the uh, learning. Of a lot of those, apparently. Keep until uh, she's ready to go for a little romantic walk. is apparently the max and I need more than 12 wait the rest of it I think does that sometimes and not others. Maybe because I crossed the day threshold or something? Go, go away. Leave me alone. Like how I'm losing energy just sitting here doing nothing. Oh, well, good morning to you too. I've been sharing a chair with my cat. She just woke up, now I got the chair to myself. Go, go away, leave me alone. Final hour is so extra slow. Are you not up yet? No, let me sleep. I'm trying to wake her up. He's up. 
trying to date him. Washing station here? Yeah. Wash up before my date. No, let me sleep. So before noon, but she won't get up until whatever the fuck o'clock. Now she's missing. What now? Shall we take a walk? You don't give up, do you? Well, let me think. And where would you care to go? Oh, that's romantic. Go look at some corpses. What if we took a stroll along the river? Why not? That sounds lovely. Shall we go? Let's go. That was a good idea to go for a walk. Not that I don't like the mill, but you get tired of it. So I'm glad you took me out. I'd love to see the markets in Prague one day. Have you ever been to Prague? No, I haven't. I have been in Kuttenberg, but Prague must be much bigger. <laughs> I've heard it's pretty smelly, though. Yeah, so many people in one place. So many assholes. <laughs> That's disgusting. But accurate. I'd love to listen to that young preacher, Jan Hus. They say he preaches in the common tongue. Everyone's talking about him. I bet he's just handsome. That's why the women dote on him. <laughs> You're a right one. A preacher doesn't need good looks for people to listen to him. And what about that fine fellow at St. James? I know full well why all the girls have started going to confession, and you have too. So don't give me any of that. <laughs> you scoundrel. Well, all right. I admit I find him handsome, but that doesn't make me a bad Christian. I'd never dare to suggest such a thing. Tell you what, let's not doddle. Be a bit more careful. He ran out of dialogue. Run! I heard you're helping Sir Radzig. Sir Radzig has me running in a few errands. I have to say, he always treats me well, and I make a wage. So you've had your turn of luck. What's it like serving nobility? Oh, it's endless luxury, money, banquets, games stuffed with other games. 
<laughs> a chicken stuffed with stuffed with a frog. Yeah, and that's nothing compared to a frog stuffed with a chicken. <laughs> a goat stuffed <laughs> with a pig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he took his helmet off. Now then. Ah, oh, Henry, what am I going to do with you? Wandering the land, turning innocent girls' heads. The only one here whose head is all messed up is me. How do you always manage to look so good? Just look at the lady killer. Where did you learn to talk that way? Hmm. I don't recall which church service it was exactly. <laughs> you scoundrel. But you certainly know how to make a girl feel special. You may continue. But now I have to go. Can I go with you? Just a little way. I don't want anyone to gossip. What are you doing? Thank you for coming with me. Please come and see me again. Enough of the romance. You'll learn how to read. All the crap I got to do in Talmberg. Apparently, I got multiple objectives here. Ah. Not entirely sure what's up with the Wayfarer thing. Is it just stopping me here because there's a lot of flowers to pick, or...? Right, middle, middle. I need dummy to work it on. My respects to you, sir. What have you done? Did you kill him? Me? What do you mean, me? It, it was you? You killed him? I didn't kill anyone. The corpse was already lying there when I got here. What are you doing here, nearby a corpse? Nearby a murder?
I'm travelling the province in the service of Sir Radzig Cabela. Sir Radzig? Heavens, begging your pardon. I didn't mean anything. All right. I suppose you're not the guilty one after all. I'm glad you saw sense. And what exactly were you doing here, anyway? What are you getting at? It'll be easier for you if you confess. All right, then. I did it. I didn't want to kill him. I just couldn't stop myself. There he is with money, strutting around. I've barely got enough to keep myself fed. You don't have to tell anyone, you know? And... and you won't regret it. Forget it. I won't be bribed. Take him, like, to a guard or something? Let's see if I can fast travel carrying him. surrendering start with taking your sword No way I'm gonna hit him. I barely hit a stationary target, I'm not gonna hit a running one.
He died from that? Oh, he probably bled out. Like, uh, all I did was tackle you, dude. <laughs> Accidental murder. Horses well armed. Finger. Wait, what? Your problem. You were seen thieving. You should Ow. have thought twice about what you're doing. That will land you a fat fine. Hmm. This is surely no way to treat one of Sir Radzig's men. Was I seeing Threats thieving? Anyone. I haven't even Try been there Try your fairy tales on someone else. You! Stop right where you are! On horseback. So, fuck you. I'm not going down for a crime I didn't even commit, I don't think. Should have just paid and been done with it, but... I don't like being accused of something I didn't do.
live on the outskirts of town, so right here. Good day to you. I'm looking for a fellow who lives here, but I don't know his name. Do you know anyone with a limp? Aye, there is one fellow with a limp. Can't imagine what you'd want with the likes of him. But that's your affair. He lives in a cottage on the edge of the village by the road to Neuhof. Something I already knew. Do somehow. I... It's him, they say. Mother Mary. Is it sweat or blood? Sweat or blood? All right, there. Young sir. I can see your future. All the joys and tribulations yet to come are written in your palm, and I can read them there. Hmm. Why not? So, what fate awaits me, good wife? I see a maid in a red dress, the flash of fair hair, and bold features. I see twinkling eyes, and hear tinkling laughter. I see a great love that will last till the grave and beyond, and... And I can see her name. It is... Katharina. Well, I can't deny you know how to spin a yarn, but I'm not paying you for that. Damn it all. I ought to have foreseen that. Maybe you ought to read your own palm now and again. <laughs> Meet a girl named Katarina in a red dress and fall in love. I'll come back and pay you. Until then, fuck off, scammer. Magic doesn't Don't exist. I'd like to learn to read. You? Hmm. You don't look like the makings of a priest or clerk. But why not? I've taught all sorts. Bear in mind, it won't be all that easy. You'll need plenty of time and a few groschen for my trouble. All right. I don't want to waste time. We can get started. The sooner I master it, the better. Very well. I will require some groschen from you, though and set aside at least a couple of days so I can put you through your paces, if indeed time is of the essence. Here are your groschen. Then we may as well start. No. He did break his vow, but better than to dishonor it here. May he follow his heart. Bet all those books I stole went and disappeared. Wake up, lad. It's time we were getting on. Training. So, let's see you read a bit. There's a book here on the table. Try to read it. Will I manage? You ought to be able to. It's a simple text. Come back once you've worked your way through it. I've read the book. Wonderful. So tell me, what have you learned? That being greedy doesn't pay. Excellent. You're one of my most talented pupils. You've uncovered the meaning hidden in the letters. 
Like I told you, books are valuable. And the words that you place in them ought to be no less so. Does that mean that I can read them? Yes, you have the foundation. Remember, my boy, the pen is mightier than the sword. <laughs> to fully learn your way around words will take a lot more reading yet. Now we'll move on to the second lesson, which will be much harder. Many books are written in Latin, the language of erudite and religious men. If you really want to be able to read, there's no getting away from the language. There's a book on the table with some text. Read it and then come back. You need not understand it, but you should master the letters. I only just managed the fable about the goose, and now you're asking me to tackle Latin. You're a clever lad. You'll manage. I read the page. So tell me, Distrupule, what's written there? Uh, nullus est liber tam malus, uh, ut non uh, liquere parte prosit. Good heavens! Don't tell me you haven't had lessons before. Excellent. Well, I took a year of it there's in high nothing school. more I can teach you. Congratulations. You can go and be ordained right away. Thank you, Domine. I'm feeling a lot uh, wiser. Hey. I don't fucking know how to read now. Your other books? all my money on books. Let's talk about the price. Well, we can try it. I want to be highly educated. Is this enough? Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. Very well, I agree. So I want to be somewhere comfortable to read. What? What the hell are you doing? Are you? Hey. 
Do you have a name? A good day to you. What do you need? I'm looking for a fellow who lives here, but I don't know his name. What Ooh, boss, you and I do know him? he lives. Well, it's no skin. I wanted to talk to him because he had a name. Hey. For a nice chair to sit in. Sit in, sit on. count as comfort. why my health is low not low but not a hundred but yeah I got in a fight Dead of night. This guy's probably asleep. I'm gonna try to pickpocket his weapon before I talk to him. More than likely, it's gonna end up in a fight. Towards him? No. Am I heading towards? Are you whistling your arm on the horse?
Like he stays up late. citizens move along there's nothing to see here if that's what you call nothing to see I'd like to know what something to see looks like by the keys of st. Peter this is all I need we'll have to send word to Sir Hanush that might not be necessary who are you I'm Henry of Scalitz in the service of Hanush's captain Bernard I'm investigating the attack at Neuhof and I think this could be related. Well, I'm the bailiff of Auschwitz. And I say we don't want any of that kind of trouble around here. What makes you think this has anything to do with Neuhof? One of the folk at the stud farm recognized someone from Auschwitz among the bandits. We have no bandits or murderers around here. Really? They say he had a limp? Shit. Well, allow me to introduce you to Limpy Lubosch, or all that's left of him. to take a look around and ask a few more questions if that's all right with you you can take this mess off my hands and welcome to it as for what else there is to find out I don't know but look and ask all you like I kind of like that they make you a guard in service to a nobleman so it makes sense that you're going around doing this shit Who Not as cool as being Lubosch. the dragonborn, but... A poor crofter and a yeah. scoundrel. Can't say I'm too surprised what happened to him. He kept company with all sorts of vermin. He was always getting into some kind of trouble. Punch-ups in the tavern and what have you. How come he limped? He got that from some villainy or brawl a long time ago. Has he been up to anything suspicious lately? Hmm. I don't know. The last few days he didn't go anywhere. He was home the whole time. But he always kept everyone in the village at arm's length. Did he have any kith or kin in the village? None. A loner he was. I don't know the last time I saw him with anyone. Do you happen to know where he was on the night of the Neuhof raid? I've no idea. He kept his distance from other folk. So you never knew if he was away or holed up at home. Then how do you know he was home the last few days? When did you find the body? And did anyone see anything? Just now. And nobody saw or heard anything. I don't know how they could gut him like that without someone hearing him scream. Chug him first. What's this? Looks like someone's hit him very hard on the head. Could they have bludgeoned him to death and then too. gutted him? That would explain why he didn't scream. Lord above, they did a hell of a job on him. Must have been agony. How come no one heard Judas? Hmm. Looks like this is meant to be a warning. But for who? And why? Maybe the gang had a falling out. But a bandit who knows how to write isn't something you see every day. Investigating. Not looting. I have to investigate all this stuff. Investigating. Fred looks suspicious. Hmm. Nothing here. Keys, too. Hmm. Yes, this alcohol very suspicious. A 
bed. <laughs> yeah. That one out. Old Town is a go ahead and search thing. My little accomplice. Reach critical mass. I can't carry and neither can the horse. Bad guy's bad. What are you doing? Creeping around like a foot pad. Everyone has to carry a light and Sorry and shit. Wasn't trying to break that law. It's gonna be hard to question anybody when they're all asleep. Find anyone to trade with for that matter. Good, save the game. Good because I need a break. <laughs> 